Welcome back to the Roadshow this morning. The buzz when children misbehave these days, a lot of parents don't spank them, but they are more likely to yell at their kids. But now, yelling may be a thing of the past, too. Experts are saying that shouting at your children can be mentally damaging, and they say they don't, <laughs> it, it doesn't really bring results. Even it's being frowned upon, the yeah. yelling. So you're laughing here, but do you think. I am laughing because what, what, what are you supposed to do? Hmm. Sit them down and say, Excuse me. <laughs> We need to have a discussion. About well, you know what I think is interesting is our executive producer came in and she said she said today, and obviously she she was telling us what the buzz was, and she said, you know, obviously uh, spanking is a thing in the of the past. Nobody spanks anymore. And no, I was like, I don't think that's true. Spanking is a thing of the past. I mean, I I do realize you were describing a little bit about uh, the spankings that you had when you were younger. <laughs> Uh, my father certainly described some of the things that he was, you know, uh, had to, it was done to him. Yep. You know, some of this stuff, especially from a different generation, yep. almost sounds like, like torture. Oh, my God. Yeah. But you know what? I got to tell you something. At the time, it was horrible. But as I got older, I realized that every spanking or beating you want to talk about that I got, I deserve well, every I bit think, of it. Well, I think you realize that about discipline in general, but in terms of beating, I, I mean, I think there's a very small window during which spanking is appropriate, and that window is when they're old, the child is old enough to know that they've, they've done something against your wishes, mm -hmm. but too young to be rationalized with, and that's a very small window. Yeah. And then after that, there should be a transition of, you know, there should be punishment, but... but Spank them until they can fight you back. That's oh my, boy, that's, that's pretty my, old. Well, that can be pretty old. Well, no, I mean these kids, younger and younger. I mean they start, well, they start like. Well, oh, so, no, see, no. here's the problem. At some point, it becomes you can no longer spank them. Right. When they're 13, 14, 15. You can't spank them anymore yeah. because they're too old. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we wanted to know what, what our audience members, what you guys had to say about even yelling at your kids. Take a look at what you told us. Um, no spanking, a um, little bit of screaming once in a while, but usually try to talk and sit down, sit down with them, some time out stuff. I don't really believe in spanking. I think that, um, you know, shouting, but more in a firm manner is the way to uh, discipline children. I feel that if they have something taken away from them that is important to them, that that is definitely more effective than, um, than spanking. Hmm. What do you guys think about that? Having something taken away? Well, yeah, a that's, toy, that's, that's the, the new car school. keys. That's the... that's the new school. Hey, no more Xbox for mm -hmm. you. But mom, like my my dad tried to pull that with me. With uh, he would take he would uh, change the password on my computer. Oh boy, <laughs> I think was... they've done that to me at work here. No, they were... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the, the way I would get around it, I had a hidden camera, and yeah. I had him log me in once. And I was able to see what he typed. Are you kidding? <laughs> you know what I. You, so maybe you did deserve a spanking. I I, I'll be honest with you. You know what I think works, and, and it worked on me as I got older, was just pure shame and guilt. Yes. From my parents. I think that can have ramifications. Who told too, though. me how disappointed they were right. in me. Right. Right. There was a time when I was accepted to be an FBI agent, and I turned it down. And my father didn't speak to me for three months. Wow. And we lived under the same. Roof. Oof, that hurts. That was tough. Uh, Courtney Calgary, I want to bring you into this uh, because obviously you, you know, you're already in the parenting role, and uh, this is a hot topic for a lot of people. Yeah, you know, it's quiet on Facebook, which is Monday, so it's a little surprising, yeah. but we have a lot of comments here on foxprovidence.com, so let's take a look at that. One artist says, sometimes shouting is necessary, and Lisa says, I have to say, I don't like yelling, but sometimes after a while of it not getting through the kids' heads, and I have to admit that I do yell sometimes, or at least raise my voice, especially with my youngest son. And uh, we have a ton of comments here, and this is from Reconfirm, he says, raising your voice at a child makes them realize what they did was wrong and that you don't like it. So uh, let's take a look at the poll here on foxprovidence.com. Do you find shouting to be effective with kids? Choices are A, yes, it gets the point across, or B, no, yelling at kids can be harmful. So definitely take a look at the poll, weigh in when you get a second, and I will be back in 30 minutes with those poll results. For now, Lily, what's happening in the kitchen?